As the demand for cryptocurrencies surges worldwide, startups are looking for creative ways to attract crypto enthusiasts. In a first, a company called Worldcoin has said that it would scan people's eyes and reward them with digital currency. Sounds a little Black Mirror come Blade Runner, but it's not sci-fi, it's crypto fact. Sam Altman, an American entrepreneur and the chief executive officer of OpenAI, is the mind behind Worldcoin, and he has said that his new startup would hand out free digital currency to people who verify their accounts by taking an iris scan. Worldcoin is believed to have already raised 25 million US dollars in funding from investors, which includes Reid Hoffman, the billionaire co-founder of LinkedIn, and venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz. The startup's co-founders are Max Novenstern and Alex Blania. Worldcoin aims to launch a cryptocurrency distributed fairly across the world and become a collectively owned global currency. Alex Blania reportedly said that the startup aims to expand the reach of cryptocurrencies as it can widen the boundaries of the economy. So how will the Worldcoin work? Worldcoin has already shipped its orb-shaped devices to people in 12 countries. Now these are used to scan the iris. Testers get users to sign up by having their iris scanned. The image is then encrypted and becomes a unique code, with the original then deleted in order to protect the user's privacy. Once that's been completed, the individual then receives a free share of Worldcoin's cryptocurrency. So far, 100,000 global users have, excuse the pun, had their eyes on the prize. And Worldcoin aims to reach 1 billion users by 2023. Now, as for the actual ecosystem, well, at present, it's designed to operate in a similar manner to the concept of universal basic income, or UBI. The orb arrives, you pass on the details of your iris, you get free money, and the cycle continues. The view being in regards to UBI, that as automation ramps up and regular roles are pushed away in favour of machines and software that can perform the tasks typically done by humans, governments can subsequently mitigate those impacts through, of course, monetary handouts. Now, if you're like me, that's a pretty fancy way of saying increase government dependence on the... Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That is to say, Bahashem in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus a so-called black man. Well, there you have it. They are prepping you for you know what to come, the MOB. And they're using this device known as WorldCoin to gauge the audience or the people to see how willing they are to sign up and to actually participate in using their physical body to receive something digital. And what am I talking about? From the clips that I showed you, you can see the line of people that are standing outside, you know, in order to receive this free cryptocurrency money if they but just put their eye to this orb-like machine and let it scan its iris, and then in return, they will receive, you know, free cryptocurrency. And one can easily ascertain and see how that's going to be translated into receiving, you know, what we call uh, free money, but they call UBI, universal basic income, you know, here is you, here is uh, 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 here is an allotted amount of money for you to receive this device that you put in your forehand, I mean, in your uh, hand or in your forehead. And, you know, you can have this amount of money. Well, you can see they are currently gathering the data from all these people who, who willingly are going to sign up for this and have already signed up for this from the video that I showed you and is willing to participate in this free cryptocurrency giveaway. You see? So this is how, this is how they do it. You know, they gather themselves together in a circle amongst each other. They think to themselves, how can we present this to the people without, you know, much pushback as possible. So here they have this, 
seemingly, you know, char charismatic young person who starts up this cryptocurrency uh, technology, and then he transitions it into something, you know, cool, like they, they're going to use, you know, it might not use the word cool, but I'm going to use the word cool, but this cool tech uh, technology, this cool device that can scan your eye, you know, and you get free money, cryptocurrency, you know, and this is what they do because they behind this, this guy or this group of people didn't come up with this on their own. They was paid by the upper, you know, by the uh, people of the uh, people, you know, they was paid by, how should I say? They was paid by the upper bees, you know, the people in higher positions gave them the command and they went out, put together this, uh, I don't want to say psyop, but put together, put together this plan to see just where the people at. You know, and this is how they this is how they engage with the people without scaring them off. Because if they was just to come out after getting all these backlash from, you know, previous uh people comments, you know, saying that the device that you put under your your hand is gonna be the the mark, then they know people wouldn't, you know, take it willingly. So what do they do? They give you something a little bit softer. You know, it's not merging with you per se in the sense that you are putting it inside you, but it's giving you the backdrop to let you know that <laughs> we getting ready to invade your private, your, your personal space. Because now what? You have to use something as biometric as your eye to let this thing scan it. And now you receive free money, digital currency. Well, you can see how that's going to translate until, well, now we don't want your eye anymore. We want your hand or your forehead to get this free money, this digital currency. And that's what this is all heading to, you know? And it's evident, it's clear to see if you have that eye cell that this is all part of their plan, okay? This is how they introduce something without, you know, ruffling any feathers. So they give you something let you get familiar with it, gauge the people, see how they react to it, and then what? They come with their ultimate goal, you know? And we know what the ultimate goal is through this word, you see? So we're not ignorant of it. We're not ignorant of uh, Satan devices. Let's go there and get that before we get this. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. You see, so you're going to see people who are ignorant of Satan devices because they didn't believe in the word. So now they're going to go down there and receive this thing just to get some free money. You know, not knowing that this has been this has been the plan since the beginning. They just needed a way to come about getting to it, you know, and this is what they do in their secret councils. They figure out ways how they can. Uh, combat or counteract the narrative that's being pushed out there in the media that puts them under a bad light that they want to be a tyrannical government that takes away the people's you know freedom so what do they do they get a like I said earlier a, char a char charismatic person or a group of people that can uh, that can placate to the younger audience and then they get them to push their agenda out. And this world coin agenda is a perfect example of this. Now, if they was to put their face behind this, then a lot of people wouldn't flock to it or gravitate to it. But if they get a charismatic group of people or individual who can relate to the younger crowd, because that's who they after, the younger crowd, then a lot of people will think that this technology is the latest and greatest thing you know, that's coming and they will want to be part of it, you see, because they've done a, 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 a tremendous job of dumbing down the people, you know, now you give them technology that does all the work for them and now they feel somewhat 
of, you know, a false sense of security because they believe that this technology is better than the old way of having to go out and get it on your own. Now you can let technology basically do the heavy lifting for you. You see? And this is what these secret elite, you know, spend money on, time and money on. So like, like I said, and like you seen in the clip, you know, you see the line that's lined up around a corner, you know, for this free cryptocurrency, the latest and greatest thing in technology. Now all you have to do is stand in front of this little orb thing and let it scan your iris, your eye. And then if you download the app, you know, you get this free, uh, you get this free currency, you know, and this is why they gave us the phone in the first place to prepare us for this, you know, because in the beginning, you know, you had a landline where you had to actually use the landline from a, a, a secure location. You couldn't be on the, you couldn't be on the run or on the move, driving around, talking to somebody on the phone. No, you had to be at a physical building or somewhere physical where the landline was attached to the ground wire. Now they gave you the mobile phone. Then after the mobile phone, they gave you the smartphone. After the smartphone, you know what they're going to give you that next. See, this is all gradualism. This is how they prep the, uh, prep the people for their agenda. They move them step by step like a, like a herd. Like when you herd uh, a cattle, you know, you herd them in the position where you want them to go at. And they don't know and they don't they don't see it coming, you know. So if you're getting a herd of cattle to go into the slaughterhouse, you put barriers on the side of them. So you guide their direction on which way you want them to go. Well, this is what they've been doing for the mass. This is what they've been doing to the mass for the longest. They have been guiding their directions into that slaughterhouse, which is going to be receiving that mark in your right, in your right hand or in your forehead. You see? So this is. This is what they do. This is how they plan they, you know, this is how they plan they uh, objectives ahead of time, you know, in these secret councils. And that's why we started off with Psalm 64 and 2. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked, for, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. And this is all they do. They just work iniquity to go up against the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem in the name Yahweh Shah, his, his uh, only begotten son, who the workman calls Jesus. So they look for opposition to go in opposition. And then in the midst of it, they'll throw you off by, you know, giving you uh, stories that won't come to in the time or the manner that, you know, people expected to come to so they could throw off your faith. And have you to disbelieve, you know? So this is all part of they, their uh, narrative, their game. This is how they play. You know, they get you to partake in it without even realizing. So next thing you know, you walking down there <laughs> and don't even know why you walking down there for the reason that you thought you was walking down there for. They change the narrative like, like on a drop of a dime. You know, so this world coin thing, man, <laughs> wow. That's a pretty impressive, uh, that's a pretty impressive way to get the people to comply without knowing what's really coming down the pipe, you know? So, hey, man, you know, what can you say except for, you know, these prophecies are coming to life, man. You seeing it uh, materialize right in front of your eyes, you know? Who would have thought for free money Someone or some people would allow a uh, control opposition to violate them and what? Let them scan your eye. But hey, like I said, they gave you the phone to prepare you for this because what? Like you see, my phone locks out. You need a password to get in. And one of the ways you can put a password in is not just by a number, but is what? By uh, biometrics, either your fingerprint either your face being scanned or something like that. You see, so they've been prepping the people for a while now and the people don't even know it, don't even understand it. They just think it's a part of their everyday life. No, you've been prepped since the beginning to acquiesce to their demands, you know, 
And some people will think that they're going to resist those uh, demands, but in the long run, they're going to know, hey, we could just wait them out. You know, they're going to need food eventually. They're going to need this eventually. And then they're going to come down to us running for whatever we have in store for them. And we know when we know what that is, uh, pursuant to Revelation 13 in the 16th verse, 13 chapter 16 verse. Right. So this was this was this was a game changer, man, to see how many people would allow someone to violate their rights. But then and again, they've been allowing them to uh <laughs> They've been allowing them to violate their rights because they gave them the phone, the cell phone, and put the biometrics on it for you to unlock your phone. And then people use those biometrics because they feel so more secure and safe than having them to put in their PIN number. Because who's going to have the same eye as you? Or who's going to have the same face as you? No, no one. So this is what the biometrics are coming down to. This is why they said put it in your uh This is why the scripture said in your hand or in your forehead because your biometrics are unique to you and you don't have to worry about anybody stealing your money, which really isn't money. It's digital money. You know, there's nothing really backing it up except for they say or claim the security. So they've been prepping the people for the longest all the while not telling you, but just showing you and then gathering and then them gathering the data to see how they can, you know, move this agenda further and further to the end, to the, to the, to the, uh, to the end game. You know, and we know what the end game is going to be pursuing the revelation 13 and we can go there and then get it and probably close out after that. Cause people saying, "Why are you talking about?" You know, man, this you you seen it materialize in front of your face, man. You have to be, you know, very blind to not get it. You seeing how they walking you into the, you know, into the slaughterhouse, man. Revelation 13, 16, he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And he's he's going to stage an event that's going to lead to majority of the people coming and taking this. All right. You see how they just raised the interest rates, you know, to try to combat their uh, inflation. So they saying that they haven't raised these types of interest rates in 40 years, man. So you can see something's being put in the works for, you know, a crisis or some matter. Maybe the banks are going to, uh, you know, crash and then people are going to lose their money. Or who knows how this event is going to be staged for you to come down and receive, uh, receive this extra income, universal basic income. You know, we don't know. All we know is these prophecies will take place and be fulfilled. And this is one of the biggest prophecies that's at the forefront of our doorstep right now. Revelation 13, 16. All right. And like I said, a lot of people are going to try to, you know, fight the opposition and not go down there and get it, but then they're not going to have faith and they're not going to be protected under that hedge and they're going to fold and they're going to receive that mark, you know? And here in Babylon, two thirds of our people are going to take it and going to be done away with once those missiles come and clean and purge this land. So, you know, this is this is a game changer, man. You know, this is how they collect data. They put it out there. They let certain people disseminate, whether it be truth or false narratives, just to get a gauge and read on the people. And then they put to work, you know, in a physical uh, control climate just to see how the people will react. And by that first clip, you know, many people are lining up to receive this free money, you know? So let's go ahead and close out first Peter. Chapter five, verse eight, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil as a roaring lion walk of about seeking whom he may devour, you know? And if you don't know, or if you're not up on the time to know that this man is using, you know, all the tricks of the of the trade, then 
<laughs> you gonna easily go down there and sign up for that free money to help pay your bills or to get little Jimmy something to eat or Susie something to eat or who knows what, you know? They're gonna play on your emotions, you know? Come down here and receive this or come down here and get your loved one to take this so they can, you know, be able to stand up and walk and run to you and hug you again, you know? The options are limitless as how they can play this out, and just how they get some, just how they get someone uh, young and charismatic to come up with this allegedly so-called new technology. You know, they're gonna get the celebrities and people who you look up, who they gave you to as idols, to push this mark when they get ready, when they when they get ready to roll this thing out, and everybody's gonna clamor to it. And they're going to come down there and receive it because they're going to think nothing of it. If this celebrity is promoting it or if this person of high stature is promoting it, then it must be good. There's nothing that can come, you know, there's nothing evil that could come from it. But if you fall into that track and in into that trap, then like we say, you're going to have to drink that cup of indignation, you know, without any mixture. So, you know, hopefully somebody learned something or took something away from this. If it be the Lord's will, until the next time, stay strong, stay in the faith. We're almost home. Shalom.